9 o'clock Sunday morning, I was 16th of August, we're about 8 weeks out from the British qualifier. Body fat percentage is around 8%, all the calorie measurements are looking pretty good, so I think I'm bang on track. Today we're going to train a little bit of shoulders, um, high volume training, so looking at sets of 20 to 25, um, with rep ranges of anywhere from 6 all the way up to 20. So just have a pre-workout do, um, we're going to get warmed up and get on with it. recorded so we can progress every week and try and increase our weights or decrease our rest times and then we're not guessing from session to session. So yeah, we're seven weeks out, weighing at 275 pounds. Um, that's where I need to be right now, but I'm just going to move on to the next exercise. Now we're doing some incline foot raises with a little bit of chest squeeze at the top to hit up the chest. Superset it with some uh, incline rear delts. Um, reps of between 12 and 15, so it's quite controlled to really try and feel and isolate the muscle. Neutral grip dumbbell press, 20 reps, so this is like a killer, 20 reps with still heavy weight. And then we'll move into partial reps and force reps to start hitting the 20 on our own. Doing uh, three drop sets in the one exercise. So, firstly, as many full reps as you can once you fail on that. Then you go into partials towards the end of the set. Some assisted reps, so one or two assisted reps. And the very last one or two reps is going to be a negative. So, there's no kind of hard and fast rules with it, it's kind of what the spotter sees and he just pushes you through as much as he can. So, we've just trained a bit of shoulders. A really high volume session, plenty of sets, plenty of reps, drop sets, negatives, you know, everything is chucked in. So now, we're just on a post-workout meal which consists of branch chain amino acids, glutamine, all my recovery supplements are in there. And most importantly, my food. Today, white potato, which is 250 grams, with eight ounces of turkey, with a little bit of seasoning on. And then I'll be eating again in about another two hours. Just constantly putting in the nutrients to help with recovery, um, and help with the fat burning, okay. Uh, so like I said before, the show's eight weeks away, no sorry, seven weeks away. Um, this year I'm hoping to, to win, I'm hoping to win the overall and earn that pro card. Um, last year I think I was a little bit unlucky, placed third. 
I was by far the biggest and probably the most conditioned guy on the stage, but I've been penalised for a couple of things which have sort been sorted out this year. Um, so yeah, there's nothing stopping me. The year before I come fourth, so every year I've progressively improved in the placings, but this year I just want to you know, take the first spot and get that pro card for the overall. Okay, so today we've drove down to uh, Fort Galaxy Gym in Ilford, London, just to get a check over from my coaches, Dean and Paul. Um, we've had a bit of a dramatic weight loss this week, nine pounds, which is a bit ridiculous. So we've had to come down and just uh, get checked over, and make sure everything's in check. Um, so we're just going to go in and see Paul. Paul's going to be training me today, uh, and then Dean will be looking over me afterwards. Right, the 22nd, Saturday the 22nd of August. We're just three weeks out from Norwich qualifier for the British finals. Hopefully this year we're looking to try and get in a pro card. Um, normally we're on a bit of an interesting week this week as Laurie is weighing 18.12 at the moment. Dropped about nine pounds over the last week, which is unusual. So once we've done the workout, we'll have a look at him and we'll make an assessment whether everything's going according to plan. We normally like the athletes to drop sort of like a couple of pounds, nice steady drops as we're going through. So the nine pounds that we've had is a bit unusual. So we will look at them afterwards, we'll discuss what's happened and we'll make any adjustments that we need to make. Yeah. First exercise done, second set of exercise. We're going to start back first of all, and the guys are going to do bent over barbell rows, and then we're going to go on to a fly press movement again with dumbbells. So we're just turning the sequence around this time, starting with back, going on to chest, just to keep things moving, just to keep things varied. the last real working set, super set. Different angles, slightly different movements, bars instead of dumbbells, as you will notice. Still rowing, but again, slightly different hand position, slightly different elbow position, it's getting in slightly different, but again, note Laurie's continuous tension on all of the movements. Big stretch on the back, it's not using his body weight to bring it up, Shoulders back, scapula retracted, everything squeezing the lats as hard as possible. And on the chest, you'll see it's a relatively short movement, but again, continuous, continuous tension. Okay, we're practically finished now. We're just going to do one final exercise, and this is going to be a high rep pump through just to get the blood, get the nutrients actually so it's like moving around. But you'll see again, even on these ones, the guys are still full extension, full contraction on the movements. We're only doing back. We regard Laurie, Laurie's chest as a relatively weak area, so he's chaining that twice a week at the moment, but not back. So we're just finishing off with a bit of back, just getting that pump going through, the flush moving through, and then that'll be it for the moment. So 
so we've just been to Fort Galaxy Gym, uh, we've just trained chest and back, uh, been put through it by Paul Evan. Um, Dean's had a look over us, he's not too concerned with the weight loss but just thinks I look a little bit flat so he's going to put some, well, he's put some measures in uh, just to combat that. Um, so he's cut all cardio out, increased my food and got me to cut back on my volume of my weight training which we haven't planned anyway. Um, so a lot of people um, say to me, you know, why have you got a coach? You know, you're at the top of your am amateurs, um, and this is exactly why. You just need someone to guide you along when these things happen. Um, if Dean wasn't there, then I'd have probably just carried on dieting hard and then ended up coming in flat and stringy, which is not what we want, been in the super heavyweights. Um, so it's been a good all round trip, really. Um, major thing is I'm not doing any cardio so I don't have to get up as early. <laughs> okay. So it's the 27th of August, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, just about to train chest. Uh, body weight currently 19 stone 2, so it's gone up a little bit, filled out a little bit, look a little bit harder, which is good. Um, body fat percentage has come down. Um, Feeling tired, but should get through it, so let's go and do a bit of chest. Intensity, well, modified version during eight high intensity training with just one to two working sets and then maybe a little bit of volume work at the end um, with plenty of reps just to push all the blood into the working muscle. So uh, next exercise that we're doing at the moment is an uh, incline barbell press. Uh, one medium set and then one uh, all out set. Uh, but this time we've done two all out sets because I'm feeling strong today so I just need to push it on every, every set to the max. Size is inclined flies, doing it with super strict style. So going down with the bent arm, pushing out at the bottom and then squeezing, pushing the hand up to the ceiling, keeping the tension on. Inclined bench is only at a 30 degree bench. Um, if you're keeping your spine straight, there's no need to lift it right up any higher to hit the incline, hit, hit the top of the chest. Okay, so one you might have seen on all our pressing and fly movements for the chest, we elevate our feet up off the floor. This just keeps your spine dead straight, helps to contract the abs to keep those tight, keep the spine straight, and just puts the tension more into your chest. The mistake you see a lot of people making is really arching the spine, hyperextending the spine, taking the tension out of the chest. So if you do the opposite of that, it's going to hit the chest more. Okay, last exercise on chest for today is uh, cable flies uh, going into the bottom position. Um, so we're concentrating on the stretch at the top and then full contraction through the movement and a big contraction and squeeze at the bottom, holding for the count of about two seconds. And then keeping your body fixed and rigid throughout the movement so then swinging so you're keeping the tension in the chest again. So 
just done machine creature curls. Um, one warm up set, one medium heavy set, and then one all out set. Uh, the all out set consisted of uh, three to four full reps, two assisted reps to get the full range of movement right over the top. And then there was one negative set, again assisted up to the top, and then a little bit extra resistance on the eccentric contraction just to overload the muscle a little bit more without doing, without doing loads and loads of reps. Uh, next we're going to do standing barbell curls again following the same sort of principle with the reps and intensifiers. Okay, so we've just been through our posing after we've trained. Um, I was feeling a little bit flat, I uh, thought I was starting to flatten off again, but after doing the posing, I'm still looking pretty full um, and a little bit drier than I was on Tuesday when I was really full after the diet adjustments. Um, so last week I dropped 10 pounds in a week which was far too much, um, so after going down and seeing Dean and Paul, my coaches, uh, they adjusted my diet, put more food in um, to try and bring me back to life, which worked within a matter of days. Um, at the time Tuesday came around, I looked like I was busting out my skin. That water seems to have settled down now, um, seems to start to get a little bit dry, but maintaining the fullness. Um, so the diet that they the changes they made to the diet has definitely worked. Um, so it's just a matter of keeping to that and waiting till Saturday to see to see what the changes are going to be then. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about it at the moment. My c condition's changing all the time. My, my legs are drier, my glutes are coming through. Um, still got five weeks till the final. So in terms of the final date, I'm way ahead. Um, as far as the qualifier, I think I'm bang on track, maybe a little bit ahead even. So yeah, it's all pretty good. So it's uh, 3rd September, so we've got nine days to go till the qualifier. Um, wait at the minute, it's night in strength four. Um, it's gone up a little bit since we last did this. Um, to be honest with you, I think I'm holding a little bit of water, uh, which we need to sort out because I've had a bit of a stomach issue, so I think that's causing me to, to hold a little bit of water. But uh, we'll have a look afterwards and see what we're looking like. It just could be in my head, who knows, um, but we'll see. So today we've just been doing um, some uh, straight bar push downs, um, some dumbbell French press, and some more push downs using a rope. All the exercises, reps of six to eight, really controlled eccentric portion of the movement, probably about four seconds, and then an explosive positive. And then that's all we're doing today uh, triceps, and then we'll do a little bit of abs afterwards. Right, 
So we'll just finish it off with a little bit of ab work and we'll do a little bit of obliques as well. Um, during this stage we pick the ab work up to three, four times a week as opposed to in the off season when it's just maybe once per week. Um, yeah, so to train our abs just doing a decline, sit up with a bit of weight and then we'll do um, some broomstick twists after that. somewhere along the line. Um, last few days I put on six pounds overnight. Um, I was very bloated, um, uncomfortable and I think it's come from there. Um, it's settled down a little bit, I've lost a bit of that water weight um, but it's still not back to where it was. Um, I also think that that's halting the fat burning process. There's still a little bit of fat on there to come off. Um, so you know, I've got a sort this digestive issue out, figure out what's causing that. I think it could be a turkey. So I need to swap that back for chicken, lower my fats elsewhere on the diet. And I think I need to up the ante with training, probably training twice a day now on the weights. Um, I don't like to put cardio in because it just totally flattens me out. Um, and I don't like to lower the food much more than what it is because again, I just flatten out and been six foot one end up looking like a marathon runner rather than a bodybuilder as soon as you lose that fullness. So yeah, the plan is twice a day training, figure out what food is causing the digestive issue and, and hopefully it'll sort itself out. Other than that, there's not a lot else I can do. So it's 10th of September, um, three days out from the qualifier. Um, Weight's currently sitting about 89, so just carving up now, just trying to fill up a little bit and come in a little bit fuller and drier. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Three days to the qualifier now. Um, feeling pretty happy. Just need to tighten up a little bit in the lower body. Drop a little bit more water, just so it matches my upper half. Um, as long as that happens, I, I'm pleased. Um, and then after that, it's three weeks till the final, and hopefully we can win it. Okay, so it's uh, 12th of. Um, September, day before the Leicester qualify for the UK BFF British finals. Um, we're just doing the final preparations, uh, last bit of shaving, uh, tanning, uh, last bit of drying out the night before, just to get the finished polished look. Um, Kim's my girlfriend, she's going to be doing the tan. Um, this is the bit I hate, along with the shaving. Um, but it's got to be done. Uh, it just finishes the look off. Um, 
but you might see me get a little bit agitated as we go through this because it's boring as fuck. <laughs> okay. So past few days um, I've just been doing a carving up, just trying to fill out. Um, I've got a tendency to flatten out really quick. Uh, I can drop eight, nine, ten pounds overnight. Um, so my food's got to be really high, particularly the carbs with a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein at this stage. Um, in terms of quantities of food, we've been looking at three, three and a half kilos of white potato per day and a kilo of rice um, per day split over between 10 and 12 meals, um, two of those meals getting up in the middle of the night just to keep nice and full um, and we'll have to do that all the way through up until the show tomorrow. Um, I think it's purely down to my size, night in stone. Um, my body's just eating itself if I'm not putting the fuel in. Um, but I've been cooking the food, Kim cooks all the food which takes forever. forever. <laughs> Um, which is a good thing for me. <laughs> so the reason we tan um, is just to highlight the uh, definition and the little details on the stage. Uh, once you get under them, oh, them lights, so bright if you've not got a good tan it'll just blur you out. Um, and then all your hard 16 weeks of hard work can be a complete waste of time because you can't see anything just look like a fat blob. <laughs> okay, so the class I'm in tomorrow is the uh, super heavyweight, which is 100 kilo plus class. Um, there's normally, in my experience, three, four people in my class at the qualifier. There's never loads in the super heavyweights because we're just in many super heavyweights. Um, so as far as getting an invite to the British, just because you win, it doesn't mean you automatically get an invite. The judges have to deem you good enough for the standard at the British. Um, but on the other hand, if you come in the top four, or all four of you might get invited if it's a really good standard. Um, and that's the same through all the classes. So it can be quite picky. So even if you're the only competitor in your category, yeah. um, which is obviously you're a clear winner, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting in back to the, to the British if they didn't deem your standard high enough, they just say you, you've won your class, but that's it. No. <laughs> you have to get offered the invite, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, being the girlfriend of a bodybuilder is a task in itself I'd say. Um, it is hard work, it's obviously, make, you know, he makes me really proud and I am really proud of him and his, his dedication and stuff, it just amazes me really what he does but at the same time sometimes it is difficult to live with <laughs> and especially to the extent that Laurie does it because he does 101% all year round, you know, it, it's never really off season as such, I feel like it's a full time job um, for him and for me. Um, but yeah, the end result is on show day. I feel really proud of him and it makes it all worthwhile. But uh, if you ask me the night before <laughs> the show, I'm probably uh, not the best time to ask me because it's it's still in the midst of all the hard work. But tomorrow I'll be buzzing. <laughs> Okay, so the tan's on, uh, wasn't as bad as I remembered. Um, so now just uh, time for a couple of glasses of wine just to help dry out a little bit more. Um, we've got three more meals to go, so one with the wine and then two uh, during the night. So I'll be getting up at probably about 12 and about three just to keep the food going in every few hours, just to stay nice and full and so I don't flatten out. And that's it, show day tomorrow.
Okay, so it's a show day now. Um, we've been here a couple of hours. We've registered. We've, we've been weighed. Um, weight today about 119 kilos, which is just under 19 stone. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, had some good comments from some of the judges and whatnot, saying I was in condition. So I'm pleased about that because I was worried about that. Um, so now we're just going to go in and register um, and then it's time to, to, for the show to start which I'll be on at about 5 o'clock um, yeah I think that's it So uh, we've just come out um, and we've just took first place in the uh, over 100 super heavyweights. A uh, really close battle between uh, me and another guy who he always places in the top six at the British. Um, the judges worked us really, really hard. Um, so I'm really pleased that I've won and, uh, and it was a good battle. I'm glad it wasn't an easy win, but I've got the win, got the British invite. so. That's what we've come to do for come here to do. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Okay, so 15th September, um, two days after winning the qualifier, um, straight back in the gym on cardio, straight back on the diet, um, just trying to get a little bit more rich uh, for the British. It's been two and a half weeks, so just trying to bring in the glutes, um, tying up the hamstrings. And just a bit more condition all over early. Um, so today we're training quads, hamstrings and a little bit of glutes. Um, medium sort of reps, 12 to 15, not going too heavy, don't want to get injured at this point. Um, so yeah, let's go and do it. Seated leg extensions. Two warm up sets, uh, what we call 28, then three working sets, reps of 12, and then we did another 28 at the end just to flush the legs full of blood. So nothing too crazy today, but we've only got two weeks left to go so we don't want to get injured. horizontal leg press now, the hammer stroke version. Um, I find it a really good machine, um, it really isolates my quads, get a lot of blood in there. So today we're not doing any squatting or leg press, again purely to stay away from the big weights. Um, just all about feel and getting that squeeze and getting as much blood flushed through the legs as possible. With the squat and leg press you're bringing in a lot of other muscle groups um, but all I'm worried about is, is attacking them quads. Okay so we're just finishing off with some stiff leg deadlifts, just a little bit extra, something just to throw in, uh, just two sets, one warm up set and then a heavier, slightly heavier set, and that's the upper leg done, just doing a bit of calves, uh, we might do a little bit of glutes as well, see how I feel, we don't want to be in the gym too long. So 
we've just done a little bit of quads, hamstrings and calves. Like I said during the session, we're not, we're not trying to tear up any trees, we're just kind of going through the motions a little bit, getting plenty of blood in the muscle, just trying to maintain the muscle tissue we've got, not trying to build any new muscle at this stage, trying to stay injury free. All the exercises we did were um, controlled, a lot of tension, a lot of big squeezing in the short range of the muscle trying to extra, extra detail um, that we're after for the final. Uh, we don't need to worry about mass. I think I'm ahead of the game in terms of mass. Just need to make sure I'm as conditioned as with the smaller fellas. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the plan. Just stick on a diet over the next three weeks. Come in five or six pounds lighter or five or six pounds of fat off um, and come in nice and full and dry. Um, and that's the, the game plan. Um, now, looking a little bit watery, had a little bit of rebound um, since the dehydrating for the show, but that's under control, it's coming off quickly. Um, so, another day or two, the water will be gone, but I can see, see I'm losing fat already. The glutes are tighter, lower back's tighter. Um, so yeah, I've just got to carry on doing what I'm doing without doing anything drastic or stupid and, and just let the diet and the training take care of the, the fat loss. Um, so I'm pretty happy. As long as I stay fairly full, um, then I know I'm not losing any muscle and just see little changes every day. Uh, and then I'll, I'm happy with, with that. We're finally here at the British final. Um, after the qualifier I've tightened up a little bit more so I've dropped about three kilos I uh, just need to come a little bit sharper I can afford to do it I'm probably going to be the biggest guy on the stage so that three kilos is nothing really uh, I think I just need the condition to match the other guys um, yeah so currently weighing about 117 kilos um, so yeah, that's where I've dropped off a couple of kilos to, to get a bit better condition um, the last 24 hours have been pretty hard, um, I've not drank any water since 12 o'clock yesterday just to help that drying out process. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit shit to be honest, I just can't wait to, to it to be over, hopefully win um, and start eating some food and start drinking again. Stage, get pumped up, ready to go on stage. Made the top six um, quite easily. Come out with some more posing for the top six. To be honest with you, I thought I, I had the title, but it turns out I came second to um, Jamie Christian. Um, just didn't seem to have what the judges were looking for that year. Um, yeah, so I'm going to upwards and just try and improve for next year. Yeah, so this coming year, I'm just going to try and improve um, certain weak body parts that I feel weak. Um, I'm bigger than everyone else, I've got more muscle than everyone else, so I just need to refine what I've already got. Like I said, bring up the weaker areas, so calves, more upper chest, uh, more lower back thickness. Um, you know, just try and improve, there's nothing else I can do except for try and improve. Okay, so at the minute the workout volume is a little bit less. Um, intensity is still quite high but that'll die down slowly just with this recovery phase, post-show recovery phase. Uh, diet at the minute a little bit more relaxed. The carbs are quite low. Um, 
just because I'm so responsive at the moment, I'll be blowing up full of water, which is not really a good look. Um, cheat meal wise, we're on two cheat meals per week at the moment. Um, yeah, and it just diet's nice and relaxed. Okay, so that's uh, my chest workout done for, for the day. Um, so we're just on a bit of downtime now. Um, I'm just going to start working on next year's prep or off season prep. Come back bigger and stronger, a uh, little bit more conditioned, a tighter waist. Like I said before, bringing up them weaker points. Um, and that's it, yeah, we'll see you next year. Uh, thanks for watching.